so we would like to start with you introducing yourself quickly. Sounds good. Um, so I'm Chantel, um, I'm a medic at the Uni of Cambridge. Um, so I met Anna um, through playing water polo um, for the uni. I'm currently at home in Grantham, which is like a small town in Lincolnshire in the UK. So we were wondering if you could describe the overall current situation in your country. Uh, are you still in lockdown? Do you know when it began roughly? Okay, so we're still in lockdown and has been so since about like the end of March time. Um, so you can go out for like a walk or a drive to do exercise, etc. Um, but still mainly staying in most of the days. Um, most of our like, so all of our pubs and like um, restaurants or sports facilities, etc. are closed. Um, you're, you can play tennis, but all the swimming pools are closed as well. So we're still pretty much in quite a heavy lockdown relative to other countries. How did uh, the UK handle the situation? Do you think it went well or is, is it going well? So yeah, yeah, I don't think they've done too badly. I think potentially they started a lockdown too late, maybe, because um, our, our number is quite high still. However, they've been quite strict with the lockdown and some areas of the country are taking it more liberally than others. So I think it's quite good that they've had quite a firm start with it. And then they're lifting it like sensibly. So I don't think they're lifting it too soon, um, which is quite good. So I'd rather be in lockdown a little bit longer and then not have to go back into lockdown than it being lifted too early. So the next question is about like keeping your schedule and just like, Tell me a bit about like how do you keep up with your habits? Do you have any planning or to-do lists or any regular activities you do? Okay, so trying to keep um a daily routine with like when you're getting up and when like sleeping is quite hard because you're trying to keep in contact with people and a lot of that happens at night, for example, through like Netflix party or house party, which are like quite a good couple of apps that we're using quite a bit. Um so normally watch like a program at night with some friends on Netflix party and then trying to keep fit as well. So try and do like a daily workout with some water polo friends. Um, and then this weekend, we're going to have a go at a couple of yoga sessions as well. Um, just trying to stay active in my garden because we're not allowed to go necessarily out as much. And I'm not a big fan of running. So I'd rather do like some circuits, etc. Have you been uh, staying with your family or friends or have you been staying alone? Um, so I'm with my family, so I'm in my parents' house or our family home. So I came home from uni around the end of March because in Cambridge I live in a flat and both of my housemates are going home as well. And obviously we don't have a garden in Cambridge, so I thought it would be much nicer to spend some time with my parents um, and my cat, obviously, and just be able to have like access to my garden, etc. Next, could you please share uh, with us your favourite quarantine outfit? favorite uh, meal and dream during <laughs> my favorite quarantine outfit okay so mostly I've just been in sports kit because I'm doing these workouts every day um, but I remember submitting like my paper so so it was the first draft of my paper so I was like I put on a dress put on some heels and went to the shops <laughs> and that was about like literally just to get some like food but I was like that was a good way to like kind of dress up during lockdown um because they're kind of there isn't necessarily too much to do. Um, and did you say my favourite food and drink? Yeah. Let's start the other one. Okay, um, so really missing coffee, because I usually buy a coffee most days, which is really bad. Um, so I've made a couple of iced coffees to treat myself, which is quite nice, and drinking way too many cups of tea. Um, favourite food? Oh, um, probably like an Indian takeout, which is very rare. Um, but like some restaurants are still doing takeaways so it's quite a nice treat um, than normal so, yeah. uh, have you been working out during the quarantine then so yeah trying so we're doing these daily water polo workouts which are quite fun and then I've been trying to do like a little bit with my mum as well to try and keep her active that she's enjoying so you often do like 10 minute ab sets or something so like nothing too big um, but yeah I think I'd go crazy if I didn't because I'm normally in the pool a, a few times anyway do you feel pressure to, to learn new skills or have you learned some new skills? Um, I feel like everyone's going to come out of lockdown like a different person. Like some people will have got really into fitness, other people will have done, created a business, etc. Um, I particularly don't think I've really learned any skills. I'm just trying to get on top of things before the madness hits. So just been trying to do a bit of work prepping for next year and 
organizing some things so haven't learned anything new in particular but just making sure that I stay sane and stay happy really have you been uh, reading listening to podcasts lives or stuff like this and um, so I've been reading my work which sounds really boring um because I think medicine kind of makes you enjoy reading for pleasure like a little bit less um so I've just been like mainly just trying to get ahead on um my work for next year which it's organized but sounds boring but I know I'll be happy about it um in October and when finals come around next February um I've got a book um to read when this is kind of all over so just trying to do a little bit as well um not massively into podcasts um but have like listened to Spotify all the time um which I love so do you have any favorite quarantine playlist or favorite music at the moment oh okay so love country music which is quite rogue but just really do i think it's quite relaxing so i often sleep to that which is odd but um and then um becca mate so one of the water pillar girls made us a road trip playlist for next year so i've been listening to that as well because it's like full of throwbacks and feel good classics um did you do anything during the quarantine that you wouldn't have done otherwise because you were too busy with life and everything I think the main one is probably seeing my parents because normally at uni I only come home for a couple of weeks at a time so actually it's been really nice to be home with them and my cat as well um, which is lovely and then also found like and I love baking anyway um but I've been baking different flavors of fudge because it's really easy um quite quick and simple as well so just trying different flavors out of that which is quite fun that I don't normally like wouldn't have the time for um it was a really important as you mentioned it before to to try to keep sane and to pay attention to our mental health um so how do you cope with the quarantine are you feeling anxious bored or maybe creative um so yeah no i think it's okay i just can't wait to be out and be able to see people and get back to normality and be in the pool but i think we're so lucky with technology that we're able to facetime or face call or zoom call somebody or like chat over house party or watch netflix party together so i think we're so much lucky that, like luckier that this has happened to us now than in previous years um so i think just trying to stay positive keep in touch with people and just try and pass the time that way um hopefully yeah uh what is your current state of mind regarding the um pandemic on a like your country scale and like the global scale like worldwide and everything the impact it will have I think it'll have like a huge impact. I think it's been amazing to see how some of the wildlife is coming back to certain areas like the waters in Venice or the Great Barrier Reef in Australia is really like there were so many turtles seen um which is really rare in the Great Barrier Reef which is lovely to see. Um so I think for our country scale in the UK I think we've still got a little bit of time um before we're going to come out of lockdown and things are going to get back to normal and I think a slow and steady process is um really good to have. Um So New Zealand, so I think the New Zealand and um, Prime Minister has done really well and they're out of lockdown now which is amazing um because she enforced like a really strict strict lockdown at the start which kind of wish the UK had done um but I think the situation is what it is at the minute and we just have to stick to the UK's plans and sort of abide by those for the, everyone's health really. And uh what do you feel most grateful for during this quarantine? Most grateful. I think it kind of makes you realize just how lucky you are to be able to see people um and just be able to jump in your car or on a train or even go abroad and be able to travel i think lots of people have had so many amazing travel plans this summer which have sadly had to be cancelled and i think it makes you realize that when you're reunited with your friends or you like you're able to next jump on a plane how really lucky we actually are and not to take things for granted do you stay in touch with your friends and other family members and as if you've met any new people or reconnected with anyone so stay in touch with lots of my friends through facebook call or house party etc as i've mentioned which is really lovely i think i'd go absolutely insane if i didn't do that as well um we also live like a 5 minute drive from my grandparents which is lovely um so have been around to see them but obviously like socially distanced a few times or been trying to do their shopping for them which is nice um in terms of reconnecting with people i think it's having the time to message people that you don't ne- normally message on a daily basis and having more time to actually sit down and speak to somebody and learn about what's happening in their life because i think we're all so busy we kind of just 
like go about our daily life and you can easily forget about what other people are going through so it's been nice just to chat to like a whole variety of different people yeah thank you so much for being part of this it's almost over if there's one last question um so what are your tips and highlights of the quarantine so the highlights i think really are just like planning things to do when it's all over <laughs> which sounds a little bit silly um but i think there's so many things i can't wait to do and so many people i can't wait to see and i think that's definitely um getting me through etc um about the lows kind of just probably thinking kind of when will it end so I think everyone had an idea that would be in for like a few months but I don't think people realize the severity and obviously I think it's so important that we do stay in lockdown um but sometimes you're just thinking how long is it going to last um but I think keeping in touch with people is so much more of a highlight um and the lows just so it's just sort of have to deal with them and stay positive really Thank you so much for coming. See you soon and be safe. You too. Thanks guys. I really appreciate it.